Hey guys, we're doing Behind the Mask today, and today we're gonna to talk about something called exosomes. These are starting to get more popular, you're starting to hear about them, although they've been around quite a long time. So, coming up on Behind the Mask with Dr. J. So today we're gonna to be talking about exosomes. What are exosomes? Exosomes are quite simply just the cellular messengers from natural stem cells. So how do we get those stem cells? In the Benev style exosomes, they get them from human donors in their young 20s. And believe it or not, there are people out there that are giving away their fat. And what they do is they harvest the fat, take the stem cells of the fat, then they isolate the messengers between stem cells and regular cells take those messengers called exosomes, they're little small packets, super, super tiny, you can't see them, and there's billions of them. So they'll isolate them, and then they'll discard the stem cells, and then you have these cellular messengers. They're postulated now to be 1,000 times more potent than PRP. What is PRP? Platelet-rich plasma. So what we do with PRP is we'll take blood, we'll take it up into a little um, tube, and then we'll spin it, at a certain RPM, it'll leave us a little yellow part of the blood and the rest of the white blood cells and red blood cells are at the bottom. We take that off and we re-inject it into hair. We put it on your face after we do carbon dioxide or microneedling. We just do a bunch of things with it. Well now with, with exosomes, especially these, these are called Benev, the company, I'm not partial to any one, I just like their uh, brochure. So look, you could look here, it's even curing some, some uh, dermatitises like atopic dermatitis, and they're experimenting with psoriasis and other things with it. Why is that good for us? Well, if it's curing stuff like that, it certainly is gonna be good whatever we do on your face with it. And it's great because you don't need to have blood drawn like you would with platelet-rich plasma, and I'll show you how this works. Exosomes comes two billion of them with a B, and it becomes a powder, see that? And then you take this awesome sort of a gel liquid, and even in that, that has hyaluronic acid and glycosaminoglycans, and what this does is you take this out in here, and then you mix it, and then you spray it on your face after procedures. Or what I did was I injected it into my, into my hairline to grow thicker hair. Now I know you guys are saying you already have hair. I know, but the front of my hairline was thinning because as we grow older, the DHT takes over, I hydrotestosterone, and it starts to thin your hair. So this is great for restoring hair. It's great to put on as a post-procedural mask. And it, overall, it's just a, it's a very nice adjunct to what we do already. We're converting most of our PRP patients now to exosomes because, and believe it or not, it's actually slightly less expensive than PRP. We don't have to draw blood, we don't have to splint it, we just mix it now, and then we can spray it on after, like say, carbon dioxide, our radio frequency microneedling, a regular microneedling, a micro pen, even a really, really aggressive hydrofacial, or we can inject it right into a hairline or to a bald spot, and I actually saw some little baby hairs grow. That's kind of crazy. So today, thank you for watching. Exosomes, cellular messengers from stem cells. These are from healthy donors. They've all been washed of any diseases. It's very, very safe. It comes just like Botox comes as a powder. We reconstitute it in less than two minutes. We put it on your face as a post-procedural mask and stem cells increase the messenger, uh, stem cells increase messengers to your cells to heal, to get better, to get brighter, to grow hair. Well, thank you again from behind the mask. We'll see you soon.